I'm here with Matt Lanter, of course. Uh, your character, talk about him in in this Star Cross show. I mean, you, you have a huge character here, and yeah. uh, talk about him. Yeah, Roma, Roman is our kind of Romeo of our yeah. uh, Romeo and Juliet story. Uh, but more importantly, he's, he's, the, he's the son of Knox, which was our late leader of the Atrians. So now Roman is kind of thrust into this leadership position of, at, at a young age. And um, I think that's always really interesting when you, you put someone in a leadership position. You kind of see their true colors. So, you know, Roman is dealing with all of that, with dealing with new love and, and dealing with uh, the weight of the world on his shoulders, which you'll see towards the end of our season quite literally. Well, not literally the weight of the world. <laughs> it's a lot of weight. But uh, life and death situations that he's trying to diffuse, uh, that's a lot for a young guy. So uh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's a complex guy. He's fun and, and witty, especially towards the beginning of the season. And I think that kind of maybe goes away a little bit because of the things happening around him. He's, he's a guy that's kind of being changed by the hardness of war and the situations and, and the brink of war and all, you know, all this going around, uh, on around him. So. Complicated character, but but fun. Yeah. Do, you see, do you see your character evolving in a different direction sometimes? Like you know, like you know, always at the start of the series, you establish the character, yeah. and then later on, you're like, what? How that? You happened? know, twists yeah. and turns. Well, yeah. I mean, I, in the pilot, Roman was very kind of light and witty, and we saw him a few times just kind of sarcastic and biting back at some of the you know slurs thrown his way. But um, yeah, I think as we as we go on, you know, he he definitely kind of like I mentioned, kind of grows a bit hard in the way that he's got to kind of shield out everything that's going on around him. There's no time for just like young puppy love anymore. It's right. it's kind of, he's got to diffuse, you know, situations that, that can mean, uh, you know, uh, whatever, death for his, his entire race. So, uh, yeah, I think I think he definitely changes. Sometimes you're like, you know, where, where'd the fun Roman go? But yeah. there's just no time for fun anymore. Yeah, like, and unfortunately, that's that's the situation that he's in. So I've got one last question. Let's talk about you know you were the the, the voice on Anakin Skywalker yeah. for the uh, for the series yeah. there uh, in cartoons. The voiceover uh, work versus mm -hmm. acting. How do they differ for you, and what do you enjoy most? Well, it's voiceover work is still acting at its core. Um, yeah. You know, you still got to kind of put yourself in that situation. And um, but I, I guess the differences are are obvious. You're not on set. You don't have props to work with. You're not acting with other people typically. You know, all you have to do is communicate with your voice. But at the same time, there's a bit of um, kind of a liberating feeling with that. It's, right. it's, it's kind of free. You feel like a kid in a sandbox, you know? And that's the cool thing about it is that, like, you're eight years old. You play in a sandbox, and if you're a dinosaur and you wanna, you're going to go attack the lair or whatever, you do it. You and, do it and, right. you, and you commit. And that's kind of what voiceover right. is. It's like, okay, so we're being chased by 20-foot dragons with a 50-foot wingspan. Sure, why not? So Use your imagination more that's, in that's, a lot of ways. That's what I'm getting at. Theater of the mind, right? Yeah, and that's where it's at. And so you kind of just get to escape and be a kid in front of the microphone. Yeah. You don't have to worry about hitting marks or, you know, your clothes or what you look like or whatever. So uh, in that way, it's a lot of fun. Well, thank you for your yeah, time. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of WonderCon. Appreciate it. All right.